Hi, this is Brent Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a database tour of the U.S. News Stream database. In order to get to the library homepage from the college homepage, you can mouse over student support and click on library. You can click on student support and scroll down to academics to find library, or you can type it in directly, smc.edu slash library. Once you're there, if you get stuck, you can ask for help with Ask a Librarian or by using the Ask Us pop-out. If you ask us during a time period that the library is open, we'll speak with an SMC librarian. Otherwise, you'll talk to a librarian from a college or university from the International Consortium of which we're a part. You will always speak with a librarian when you use this. So today we're looking for a specific database. So we head into the databases and from here you have options. You can choose by topic. I need something in, about English or about health. You can choose database types. This is determined by the format of the content of the databases. Keep in mind that these are very narrow limiters, which means if you have a database that covers more than one topic, or if you have a database that has more than one type of content, for example, they have books, chapters, and newspaper articles, and blogs, and articles, they will not be narrowed down in these listings. If you know the database title and how to spell it, you can search for it directly. If you know the database title and you're not sure how to spell it, you can go by the first letter of the title. Today we're looking at U.S. News Stream. So if I go directly into the U's, that is the only database listed under there. When you go to this database, if you are not currently logged in and you're on your own device or you're working from off campus, you will have to log in with your Coursera Connect login. So if I decide here that I want to look at deep fakes, and I want to look at um, politics. It will give you options of some things that it finds looking at that. You can also turn this off if you don't want it. When you search that out, it gives me over 23,000 results. So I want to narrow it down a little bit. The first thing I want to make sure that full text is linked because that gives me the article and not just information about the article. Then I can look at the source type. Is it a video? Is it from a newspaper, magazine, trade journal, etc.? I want it to come from newspapers. So that cuts out 19,000 hits. I also want to make sure that I get current information. This goes all the way back to 1980, and I want maybe the last year. So I can enter a date range and I can say from March of 2022 to March of 2023, and I can update it. That cuts it down even more. And then I can scroll down and I can say, what kind of document is it? Is it actually news? Is it opinion piece? Is it feature writing? Is it an editorial or a blog? I want news. So I click on that and it will take me just to the news. So at that point, then I can scroll through it and see what I can find. And this looks kind of interesting. Um, Twitter's been in the news a lot right now. and They've laid off a lot of people, which means there aren't a lot of persons, humans, to check what the algorithms are doing. So there might be some things slipping through. So this would be interesting to me. So I can click on the title of that. And once I do, it gives me some options. The first thing that does is it gives me the actual article typed out, ready to roll. At that point, I can download a PDF. I can cite it, email it, print it. I can click on all options and I can save it to my cloud. I can also find other related um, newspaper articles about this topic. So I can expand my search without redoing my search. Finally, I can look at what terms it, are, it includes. So these are assigned to subjects for the various articles that come under this. If I click on one of these and I research, it will search the entire database again and give me anything that has false information as an exact subject attached to it. So I'm going to go back to my results and I'm going to show you how you cite it. So you can cite it here. Keep in mind this is a robot's interpretation of the citation, so when you put it in your paper you'll want to fix it based on the template that your instructor gives you, and you'll want to use the type of citation that your instructor requires which may vary depending on what class you're in. Okay. 
You can also email it to yourself. Once you have finished with this, you can go back to the results. You can re-refine, take off or apply different filters, change your search terms, false information might be there instead of deep fakes or ad in addition to the search terms that I've had, and that allows you to play with your search and get more specific results. If you have any questions while you're doing this, the Ask a Librarian chat is embedded in the database so you can ask for help without actually losing your search. Let us know if you have any questions and good luck with your research.